Hey, uh, I'm back here. I mentioned before about doing the Oscar Goldman briefcase as a two-piece type of assembly. Uh, I was just thinking about how I could easily do this. There are several different ways, but I'm going to use that solid model to start with. Um, so I'm going to start out here by going uh, and saving this as a different file. So uh, we'll say briefcase um, top just as a quick way to save this. And then as I'm waiting for that to save, uh, we will go back in and delete some of these uh, out. So just to get rid of that. I'll leave that sketch in there for just a second. The mirror part here, we will delete that. So, so I'm left here uh, with this particular part. Now, kind of going back on this original extrusion, see if this will work. Let me edit the feature. In this case, uh, rather than being symmetrical, uh, I'm going to have it all on the one side, and I'm going to change that to 0.15. There we go. Kind of get that out. So now I've got that half part of here. And I'll start a new extrusion here, which will be this. And this will be 0.15 as well. So, nope. And that didn't work like I wanted to. So let me go back in and edit this feature. Um, rather than. What happened there was I had that selected as a cut, which cuts it out. Uh, we want this to be a join, so or sometimes you can do intersect. There's different things on there, so so all right. So that gets my handle back up on there, and go back in here with this fillet. I want to soften the edges around those handles just on this side. Okay, I think that's a little too big there, so let's change that to 64th. There we go. I'm only going to put these on this side. I'll apply that, and I will actually want to make... this bigger there we go apply that there we go so that takes care of that and uh, in all honesty I think I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna make that um, 16th and soften up those corners on this briefcase there a little bit too so so now I've got that in there okay now to hollow this out there are a couple of different ways I could do this I could of course go in and I could draw on this surface and extrude back so or in this case there is also what we call a shell feature so and I could come right in here and shell this out uh, I want that to be actually I'm gonna the wall thickness here will be one eighth. So I'll just go ahead and clear that out and hit OK. And now I have that done uh, as a shelled feature. So that's one half of my briefcase going in there with that. Now, let me go ahead and uh, save this. File, uh, save. Remember I said we needed to create an assembly file on this. So we'll go file. And in this case I will go to a new assembly. Where I'm going to put, uh, basically I'm just going to copy both of these in. Bring them in twice and place those. So I'll place that. 
So software's running a little slow at the moment, so so I've been work, working this computer pretty hard today. So all right, so here is my top part. Open that up now. When I bring this in at first, let me get my uh, view here. Um, I want this piece to basically go in place grounded at origin. That kind of locks that in. Uh, and I will rotate this about the Y and place that. So there's my two pieces. All right. Now, now I have to more or less do what they call a constraint. So, uh, and constrain the two together. So, uh, and this is where a lot of times people get a little confused here in Inventor. So um, I will first, as I constrain this, uh, I want to mate one side uh, up against the next. So, and I want the this surface of that half to be mated and put in line with this surface of that half. And apply it now. As you look, let me cancel out of this for just a second so you can kind of see here. So, for all appearance, notice this is the piece that I fixed at my origin, took out all six degrees of freedom. This piece looks like it's still moving around anywhere uh, and everywhere in space. In reality, though, uh, it is only moving up and down or in and out um, there as we go because I have kind of locked that in and attached and made those two surfaces touch with each other. So I can do the same thing now going this way and I will need to at this point do another mate which is called a flush constraint. So so let me go ahead and um, I will flush. So and this is a flush and in this case I want to flush this edge to that edge and apply it. Okay, so that you've got that. And next, I'm going to do what's called a. Uh, well, I'm going to first do a mate here as I zoom out. So I want to do a mate between this edge only and that edge and apply you'll see why in just a second all right so now I have that um, cancel out of this and uh, notice now everything is locked in place I have that as one briefcase uh, that is hollow on the inside but that's not really what the magic is on here in inventor uh, so I'm going to come back here. I'm going to get rid of this mate for a second. We'll delete this out. So, Because now watch uh, what I can do at this point. Notice. So let me come in here. I can actually have this swivel back and forth like it would opening and closing as the briefcase. And uh, I'm going to constrain this. This is an angular constraint. So I will make this surface and rotate around using my view cube sometimes it gets a little tricky and that surface so and notice it is set right now at zero degrees but I can also say type 15 degrees and it opens it up more uh, 90 degrees I'm gonna keep it at zero degrees right now hit apply so we'll get that in there okay so, notice there at zero degrees, it is there. Ooh, let's, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to come back and do this over one more time here. So, let's go ahead and constrain this with my angle constraint. And I will make this part angled with this part and apply it there we go now here's the cool thing that I can do go back in here we're gonna drive this so this comes up we'll start uh, we'll go from 0 to say 45 degrees here 
open this up in my increment values uh, notice it's steps we'll just go 15 degrees is total number of steps notice how much it opens up kind of goes back and forth uh oh collision detected okay let's cancel it out so try one more time here delete nope that wasn't what i wanted to do undo that here we go drive this constraint from zero to 30 degrees keep that in 15 degree increments so collision detected all right well that's not working so let's go step by step cancel that out back well sometimes it just doesn't want to work the way we like it to um, but as you can see even if I delete this constraint out uh, this gives us the ability to kind of pivot here on this and I can kind of lock that in place um, and this would be your assembly notice where now you got that model for that I'm gonna in another video I have to go back in and figure out what's going on um, sometimes when I'm doing these things on the fly it takes a little bit more time for me to figure out what I did to mess up the drawing where it uh, doesn't work exactly the way I wanted it to but anyway uh, you see kind of the idea here um, two pieces uh, Certainly, if I were going to print this out and actually get these to work, I would have to do some other type of a feature on here, uh, maybe on the outside to kind of clip these in, or I could even come in here into the middle um, on this part and do like an inset where that kind of snaps in and holds the two pieces together. So a couple of different things and a couple of different ways that you could create a two-piece assembly um, on this. Go ahead and we'll go file save as now in this case I can save this exactly the same way um, this is Oscar Goldman's briefcase so and I'll just name this briefcase assembly we'll save it and bring that in there I'm going to rotate this around because I like kind of looking at that so set that like that and I'm going to actually come over here and we will set this current view as the home screen there we go there we go you have that to open and close uh, make it look like an actual briefcase save it once more and that is Oscar Goldman's two-piece briefcase the exploding one on this case it doesn't have any of the internal exploding parts guess what those would all have to be drawn as separate parts and included in this assembly drawing too but we'll get at that some other time so right now I don't really have the time to have a great night enjoy your day